just want to give it a minute for some friends to pop in a couple of minutes late <laughs> okay beautiful thanks guys hi hello hello so i am also trying to stream this into another group but looking like the wi-fi is on Happy? Oh no, it's working. Okay, good. <laughs> we are live in both places now. Good evening. Welcome everyone. Just want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and also <laughs> the spirit guides, the angels, all of our helpers who are here helping us. Well, they're not necessarily technically here in terms of tapped in, tuned into this earth realm frequency but they are guiding us always and helping us always. So I want to acknowledge all of them uh, because each and every one of us, I believe, on this earth journey. So welcome to you all. My name's Alicia Timmerman, those who, of you who don't know me. And tonight I am going to bring through one of the key guides who works with me and does uh, the energy healing sessions with me and she goes by the name of Amaya many of you have met her before some of you she may be new to uh, you or some of you may, may never have seen channeling before so if that's the case for you uh, it may or may not be something you want to stay and partake with but it will involve me connecting with energies beyond this physical dimension and they utilize my hands my voice uh, and i just step back my energy steps back alicia the personality and they come forward to the front so i'll be doing channeling with the guide at the front so because it is the full moon i wanted to actually acknowledge that I hadn't actually realized it was full moon when I set this date and just it, this date just happened to be available and I was like okay well I'll do it uh, and then uh, Sarah I think you're on live you said oh it's actually the full moon I was like okay great I had not realized that <laughs> so uh, just happened to be that and so with that I actually personally don't know much about uh, the moons and the new moon and the full moon and all of the things other than a very basic version of what these things mean and so i wanted to share with you all actually a beautiful soul sister who's also in this group shared a really beautiful message with me earlier and i want to share it with you because it was actually from uh, a i think a tarot extraordinaire or someone who is in that uh line of expertise and i think for many of you it will resonate this message before i bring through my guide that's if i can get the message up because i'm trying to to do that and it's not really wanting to play with me but in a nutshell from memory of reading that message I was talking about this particular new moon or this particular full moon being very much around it being a time for us to release I and mean, when we talk about the full moon being a time you know to release things things that are no longer needed or no longer serving us but this seemed to be much more of a really it's going to be bringing forth the courage the bravery whatever it is for you to be really truthful and honest with yourself around the things that maybe there are some changes um, that are required uh, for you to really uh, step up into potentially uh, the work that you know that you're here to do for example those of you who really feel like this particular time on earth that you are here to do certain things and to help with the uh, current upgrading changing frequency whatever you want to call it that's happening this planet i really wish that i could uh, provide you with all of the words of that but it's not coming so maybe it will come up later oh maybe i can do it like this give me one sec because this might work 
maybe not. Okay, anyway, let's bring through the guide uh, and hopefully later I can connect with that message because I am no moon specialist. So I'm going to bring through Amaya now and she will do whatever she does. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Amaya, I humbly request you please come through my channel to assist those lot watching live, those watching the replay, for whatever will be of assistance for us collectively, individually, uh, to help us for our highest good and best. Thank you, thank you, Amaya. So Amaya uses also sound frequencies and resonances and brings through other um, beings. potentially um, in the English language. Thank you. in human form so 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 ha, ha, ha. Alicia is talking about all the full moon and all such things ha. so 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 let me firstly say okay this is nice it is good for humans to uh, associate sacredness with such uh, occurrences in the various uh, shall we say uh, manifestations of your moon however i want to also remind you all that all of the possibilities all the things all of these things they are all available to you no matter what the shape of the moon is <laughs> no matter what the shape of the moon is <laughs> okay okay so okay yes 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 greater great emphasis can be placed uh, certainly on various things uh, to do with uh, planetary cycles and uh, all of the things all of the things and yes of course it, it has a value but we want to remind you not to give away your power over to anything including such magnificent things as the moon <laughs> so 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 your power resides within you each of you available to you at all times no matter what the season no matter what the moon is no matter what the tide is in the tide is to connect deeply with the truth of you where all of the riches always reside always reside so 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 i shall just connect in now with the collective of the uh, energies whom are here what you say in your terms of your technologies <laughs> live <laughs> and also those in the replay doesn't matter there is no time or space for me. It all intercepts together, together, together. <laughs> One moment, please. Prince, Okay, so as is always the case uh, for you while you are in a human form, firstly, I want to uh, re emphasize, or shall I say, to uh, expand upon, explain a little bit more about what I said about your capacities for the energetic shifts within, for the uh, growth, uh, for the learnings to uh, occur. So, what I want to share firstly is that uh, there is no one else who shall do your healing for you okay so here is alicia the vessel from which i come through okay so me 
referred to here in this particular aspect as Amaya. Amaya is not healing you. Any activation which I bring through Alisha together, combine the energy of Alisha Amaya, we are not the healer, so to speak. We bring information uh, that your system chooses to interact with. Your system is the healer. It is all within you. The power resides within you. It is not to be given over to somebody else to say, oh, this one will fix me, this one will heal me, this one has special powers and all such things. No. The special powers for your own particular journey, for what you are here, for your curriculum, shall we say, it is within you, you see? Also, I want to also share, when we talk about energy healing, I want to make it very clear, very clear indeed, none of you at your truest, truest level, at the truth of you, your magnificent resonance requires any healing. None at all, none whatsoever. You are already perfect, you are already whole, you are pure love, my darlings. However, whilst you have chosen to intermingle your true energy with the version of a human incarnation, uh, then you are in the physicality realm, where certainly uh, healing can assist you from this physicality perspective, the emotional perspective, uh, all such things, the energetic perspective, which in terms of that physicality, human dimension. However, I want to make it very clear, none of you at the true level requires healing, and to assist you when you connect back with the true level of you, the truth, the pure love, that part of you that resides within you, that without, outside of you, within you, connected to all, all is connected, all is ultimately one. When you connect in here, then, my darlings, huh, you immediately allow that truth of you, that overflowing wholeness, to start to flow back out into your human form, you see? All the riches are inside you. All of the information, all of the wisdom is already available to you, ready for you to uncover, my darlings. And you are all doing so perspective necessarily. But please know, what you see, what you experience from the vantage point of the human perspective is all such a small, small, small part of all that is. There is so much more than you can see with your physicality. There is so much more than you can hear uh, within the confines, shall we say, of the human structure, there is so much more that you can feel ah, beyond the confines of the human structure. This is just but a brief moment of your ultimate experience. However, it is meaningful. Of course it is. It is to be appreciated. It is to be relished. It is darlings. So many of the homes, the humans, so many of those in the human form, they are getting themselves also caught up. I like the phrase, <laughs> I like the phrase in the human form. Oh, so many humans like to get their knickers in a knot. <laughs> the knickers all in a knot. <laughs> However, my darlings, you have chosen such a journey. You have chosen to experience all of the many unvaried variety that comes with being in this particular realm. <laughs> oh, it's not an easy one that you chose. My darlings, you chose it. You chose it for the experience. You chose it for the learnings. You chose it for the growth. 
And my gosh, you're getting it, aren't you, my darlings? <laughs> you're not always wanting it. You're always thinking, oh, here comes the next thing. Oh, my goodness. No, I don't want it. I just want it to be nice and relaxed and calm and sweet life. <laughs> oh, this is not necessarily like I can imagine now and provide you with the analogy. You know, you've got a vending machine. You know, the vending machine is quite a fun thing there for you when you're around. You put in the money and you press those cute little buttons and oh, down comes what you of your incarnation. You journey into this dimension of this realm with all of the rules uh, that apply here you see and when you remember you chose here you came here for exploration for expansion for your spiritual development my darlings then all of the things many of the things that you have been taught to regard as so 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 relevant so important from the worldly perspective they start to fall away they start to fall away. So, so, so. Let me bring forth for you. I shall bring forth some uh, resonances, the frequencies of which you are a frequency, my darling. You have each a unique signature, but you also embedded within you the signature of the collective, of the oneness of which you are all connected. So I bring through some sounds. They might sound a little bit strange, a little bit odd. However, just Forget about that one. <laughs> Allow the mind to relax. Send the mind away. Say, okay, you can just have a go, go, go. Off you go, down you go. <laughs> and we shall communicate directly with your being. With that. Mind you at the depth of your more than well you are whole you are complete and you are deeply loved and deeply held in all of the beauty and awe that exists in the oneness and the magical magical tapestry of all that is and all that will ever be thank you thank you so my darling if you choose to you may want to close your eyes to fill into the resonances now and as i said you are the healer you are the one your system chooses okay we shall take this and this and this and we shall move it here and do it here your system knows what to do the intelligence of your system thank you thank you so you can close your eyes if you choose to now and now now you are. Each of you shall hear, feel, receive what is best for you in your current, current, current situation. 
of energy to hover above my head and now you can see it perhaps feel it feel the pulsation of this disc of energy it can be whatever size is for you remember you are in the driver's seat you are the true healer yourself for yourself and now with this disc of energy you simply ask Please, I request that this disk of energy be infused with all that is working for you, creating here this disk of energy hovering above your head and you can look and see the color, the size, the shape, whatever it is for you. Notice which way it is spinning or it is pulsing up and down, whatever it is for you. Observe it and in one moment you simply Bring the disc down in your mind's eye to the top, very top of your head and just allow your system to receive this energy now for the full boost, clean, clear, all that is required for you into your system. Your system has the intelligence. Your system knows what to do with this energy, knows where to take it, knows the appropriate pace for it to Make its way, make its way. Oh, in the Zirungo. Oh, Jalaki in the Raki. Oh, Zungo Chalaki. Oh, Zungi Zaraki. Oh, Jurongo. Oh, in Jay, Zit Zit Zit. Oh, Zungi Chalaki. Oh, Zungi Zaraki. Oh, Zungi Zit. Oh, 
You have created, you are an energy alchemist yourself. You have all of the power <laughs> within you. Deep remembrance of you, your wholeness, your pure love frequency and vibration. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It has been a pleasure to assist in the visitation, the facilitation. You please drinking much water. You taking good care of yourself, deeply and sacredly caring for yourself, your vessel. It is a journey you have embarked upon for your greatness. <laughs> for your greatness. You taking good care of you. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. Connecting now. <sighs> Hi, friends. Hopefully, those really um, high noises didn't like freak you out because they can maybe potentially come through on the um, through the whatever you call it. What's this thing? Technology thing. Um, not always um, <laughs> the right uh, sound or whatever. So there you go, friends. That is uh, gifted to you from these beautiful uh, spirit team that work with me. And I hope and trust that it will be of assistance to you. Uh, I know that they are only ever amazing. And it's so interesting that I can't connect with this full moon message, right? I'm wanting to read you all this stuff about the tarot and the full moon. Just everything else is working on my internet, but I just cannot open those messages. And now it makes sense because I don't think she wanted me to share it because she actually was saying, don't hand over your power to the full moon. Don't hand over your power to the moons and the tides and things. It's lovely that, we're, that they, we see sacredness in that and it's lovely that we you know take the moments to mark these things but actually remembering that the power is within you no matter what is happening externally you've always got the opportunity uh, to connect back um, with yourself so that's interesting uh, so thank you friends if any of you are new to me um, I'd love to connect with you or if you want to see and I've got lots of free offerings I've also got a goddess circle starting this Wednesday uh, in the day, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, in Glen Iris, two hours uh, on a Wednesday for eight weeks. And I still have a spot for that. So if there's anyone, I know it's a bit of a funny time, but if anyone um, has Wednesday mornings free, please reach out to me. I'll have a look at my website. I would love um, to have some more uh, women to benefit from that amazing course as well. So take good care, as Amaya said, and thank you for joining me tonight. Please let me know um, how that felt for you. If there's any comments, any questions, please leave your comments and I will get back to them um, when I can. I'd love to know who's here. It looks like there's quite a lot of you um, in the two different groups. So 